Here you will notice we have already released one of the grade 8 hardened steel high torque bolt from the transmission flex plate also known as a flywheel in the manual version. These bolts are a 14 millimeter socket 3H drive with our 3H ratchet. So we want to position or a ratchet like that then we're specifically going to place the flywheel like this so we can place a bar like this right here for bracing the flywheel we will use the extension handle for the ratchet for leverage you must make sure that the ratchet is braced by hand against the bolt when applying force for turning the nut. At some point in the flywheel removal, it's going to become dangerous because you are most likely to cut your hand on this exhaust. It is highly recommended that you perform this procedure with a impact gun. That is an air gun that will ease the effort for removing the bolts on the flywheel. Alright, so here we can see we have a, this is a shim for the bolt. When we install in the flywheel, we must never make the mistake and place this in front of the flywheel. We must always remember our disassemble procedure and perform the reverse for that procedure when installing. We will now inspect the ring gear on this flywheel any excessive wear and tear or broken tooth. Now it is accessible for us to gain removal of the crankshaft rear main seal. Okay, in the background I have a bunch of woodpeckers banging with a hammer. But in a lot of different videos you're going to see people have different methods for removing the seal. Some people like to stick a screwdriver in there and try to pry it out. Some would like to just place a screwdriver here and chisel it in there to pop that seal out. Don't recommend you use any prying method for the seal. The best and simplest way for removing seal is to take a sheetrock screw. This is a Gibson board screw. What I want to do, I just want to place it right here. Notice this is on the metal part, not on the lip. So we're going to take our mallet and impact it in. Then I'm going to use my Phillips screwdriver. I just want to drive it in so that screw cut its way into the seal.
All right, so anytime you're going to be removing the seal, you always want to work on the top, never on the bottom, because you can see right here, we always can see evidence of the oil leak from the seal at the bottom. So we don't want to cause any damage at the bottom on the casting or to the crankshaft. All right, the next step is to take that mallet and place it right here with your needle nose pliers. And just pop that seal out, nice and perfect. Now you can run this seal to the parts store and get all the specification that is required for the one to be replaced. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment, like, and ask any question freely. I will reply to your comments. Now that the seal has been removed, it's time for us to clean the surface of the engine. We basically want to degrease this engine. It is most important that all the bolts and the part be replaced from where they were removed because you don't want to lose the bolts or the parts so the safest way to insurance against that is to simply replace them. Once the engine is completely clean then we're going to proceed to replacing the crankshaft rear main seal. Also we must remember when reinstalling these grade 8 hardened steel bolt for the flex plate some form of Loctite adhesive must be applied to the threads.